Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Portal. Uh, let's yeah, let's do the fifth chamber. Ooh, it gets a little bit more tricky this time. Um, so you see, you, you have two buttons here. So basically, I need two cubes. One cube is over there, and one cube I just teleported up there. So let's get up there. Get the first cube on the first button, and let's get over there by doing voila. Oh, was that too fast for you? Ah, oh, mind fuck! Oh, here's a radio. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. <laughs> As part of a required test protocol, <laughs> we'll stop we will stop enhancing the truth. In three, three, two. Uh, thing is, uh, you will notice. Uh, throughout the game, at Glados, at first she's like, she only like explains the test chamber. She has a little bit of humor, but you know she does her job. But then later on, during the test, you'll notice that she gets uh, she gets a little more weird. Like she, uh, I won't spoil anything. We'll come to that. <laughs> you'll see what I mean when we come to that. Okay, test chamber six. Flat safety is one of many enrichment center goals. The Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. <laughs> Please be careful. <laughs> yeah, basically you die if you touch it. Um, in this chamber, we'll first introduce these energy balls. Uh, if you look closely, you'll see that these are the energy balls from Half-Life 2. Uh, thing is, we have to put this ball into this little thing, so you know. How should I do it? I wonder. A plan. Unbelievable. You. Subject name. <laughs> Subject here. name here. Subject phone down here. <laughs> uh, my name is Shell, for God's sake. Funny. But I still don't. Uh, I still don't have like the full portal gun yet. I, I can. I can still only place the blue portal. Uh, we'll get an upgrade to the portal gun later, where we, where we are able to place both of them. And then, the real challenges take place. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet, and have therefore been disabled for your safety. <laughs> Thank you. Now, come on. Whoa, 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 Kaplam! Good. Now use the Aperture Science unstationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Not too worry. So now I just have to wait for the elevator to come back so I can land on it. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> and yeah, as you can see, there are like these observation rooms everywhere. But where are all the humans? I wonder. Did something happen to them? Oh my god, I wonder. So mysterious. <laughs> so as you can see, Aperture Science apparently played uh, played with uh, Dimensional Gates too. But you know, uh, apparently they found something different. They, they developed the portal gun. And like Mesa, they developed a machine to open a portal to another dimension, which wasn't the best thing could happen. But you know, so you can see that uh, both companies worked in... Uh, worked in uh, in physics, of trying to develop, you know, like dimensional gates and whatnot. Please note that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark. Unsatisfactory mark. Found by death. Good work. <laughs> yeah, I like how she says uh, unsatisfactory mark first before death. And now the ball bounces back. All the way there. Awesome. I am the pro. Oh shit, wait. So yeah, she noticed uh, the test chambers get more and more dangerous. This is like the first test chamber you can actually die in. Oh wait, I think you could die from the enemy wall. Okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, so like the test chambers get more and more dangerously now. Like, you, you can actually die. So you'll notice that Gladys gets more and more, like, mean or whatnot. If I can say so. If I may say so. Eh, more or less. 
Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Mm, yeah, sure. <laughs> you will uh, notice that she will begin to talk about cake later, <laughs> which created this huge meme uh, on the web. Like, yeah, we'll come to that. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I like the humor in this game, I do. The it's fucking funny. The Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Oh, really? Make no attempt to solve it. <laughs> Make no attempt to solve it. Uh, here's this emancipation grid. Look what would happen if I put a cube through here. Oh, it vaporizes. I'm not allowed to do that. So I have to find another way to get this cube through here. And I wonder, hmm, there's a hole here, maybe. I don't know, maybe. Let's try it. The Enrichment Center apologizes for this clearly broken test <laughs> chain. Shut up. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. That's because I'm such a positive little fellow. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. But still, awesome. But still, awesome. <laughs> So, like, the only characters in this game are actually, really, the main characters, Shell and GLaDOS. That's, <laughs> that's like, all, all there is. <laughs> kind of funny. Uh, oh, wait, there actually is one little secret guy. We'll, we'll see him later. Well, we'll not see him, but whatever. <laughs> Momentum. Yeah, now, now, now we get to play a little bit with uh, gravity physics. Um, but for this first one, it's not really that hard. I just have to jump through like that. But it gets harder. You see here. Now I actually have to use the grav the momentum speed I get from uh, gravity. So the thing is, if I jump, you'll notice that I, you know, of course I'll fall down from gravity. So <laughs> you, you you can actually use that. So if I jump down this portal, my momentum speed will will uh, will still be there when I go through the portal. So we'll see what happens when I do this. <laughs> see? Awesome. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, oh, how it does, it does not. <laughs> awesome. And also, uh, you can only place portals on these white concrete surfaces. You, you can place them on these, like, yeah, weird steel surfaces. So you can only place them on these flat, concrete, white surfaces. Wee! Momentum. A function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, <laughs> speedy thing comes out. Like, to make it simple. <laughs> speedy things come in, speedy things come out. Hooray! Awesome. So yeah, you don't only play with, por with portals, you play a little bit with physics too. Hooray! I'm learning physics. I'm a good boy. <laughs> Now we get the, the full portal gun, I think. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. <laughs> Try to avoid it. Thank you. <laughs> I think in this puzzle, uh, you see that this... Uh, how the hell did you do this again? Oh crap. Uh, in, in this puzzle, this portal gun is stationary there and it shoots the, the orange portal around in three different areas. Over there, over here, and over there. Uh, but I have to get it. But before I can get it, I have to get this energy ball over there. Not sure how to do it. Now, now I have the orange one there and the blue one over here. So if I walk through here, I get in here. Hooray. Very simple. Let's see if this was it. That was it, yes. Hooray. Uh, now I need to oh, now I need to get out of here. Let's see. Now what we shoot over there, so I will come over there. Good. But I need to come over there actually. Let's get on the thing. Ooh, awesome. So yeah, as, as, uh, as uh, Gladys said, 
If I touch the water here in this floor, I'll die. But let's get the awesome portal gun! Yeah. As part as part of an optional test protocol, we are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject home. Mm. Awesome. So yeah, basically this uh, this portal gun is a lot is uh, it's worth a lot of money. I can I can see why. <laughs> like think about it. Think about having a portal gun like this, like in real life. How 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 much easier things would be. So yeah. Now we can see if I press second air fire or like my my second mouse button, you can see I can create the orange portal too. So I can create like a I can create my own dimensions like this or like my own gates like this. Woohoo! Woohoo! Awesome! Funny. And you can also set up a, like an infinite fall by doing this. Ah ah ah! Funny. Mhm. Mm so so you reach like the maximum um, speed uh, that you could reach. Earth's atmosphere or whatnot. So it, uh, it's kind of funny, like, you can play around a lot, you know, like, uh, uh, funny boy, you know. You, you can play around as much as you want, but, you know, so, it's very funny. So now, like, the really, the real, a little bit harder test chambers begin. Because now you have the fully, the fully portal gun with both portals, and, you know, now we begin the real tests so to say, but we'll do that in the next episode, so I guess I'll see you then. Bye-bye.